was mohenjo daro destroyed in the nuclear war in ancient india david davenport claimed that at that time there were aliens on planet earth and they had connections with ancient aryan people aliens destroyed mohenjo daro on behalf of the aryan people had really ancient aryan people connection with aliens and extraterrestrials who were these aliens were they really extraterrestrials why davenport claimed them aliens present day mohenjo daro is an archaeological site in the province of sindh pakistan mohenjo daro was discovered in 1922 by r d banerjee an officer of the archaeological survey of india Two years after major excavations had begun at Harappa, some 590 km to the north, large-scale excavations were carried out at the site under the direction of John Marshall, K. N. Dixit, Ernest McKay, and numerous other directors through the 1930s. Mohenjo Daro was an ancient, heavily populated, wealthy city that was instantly destroyed 2,000 years before Christ by an incredible explosion that could only be caused by an atomic bomb. Mohenjo Daro means Mound of the Dead, but what was its actual name before becoming Mound of the Dead? There must be a name of that place. Does it mean that this place is much older than the mainstream archaeology estimations that claim Mohenjo Daro flourished between 2600 to 1900 BC? But according to archaeologists of Pakistan, Mohenjo Daro is much older. The name of Mohenjo Daro tells us its old age that nobody knows actual name of that city. Nobody knows when this ancient city faced a horrible destruction and turned into mound of the dead. While excavating the streets, they discovered human skeletons scattered around, many holding hands and sprawling in the streets as if some instant horrible disaster had occurred. People were just lying unburied in the streets of city. Further excavation down to the street level revealed 44 scattered skeletons as if death had come to suddenly they couldn't go to their homes all the skeletons were flattened to the ground supposedly a family of father mother and child were found flattened in the street face down and still holding hands their face and body positioning suggested that they had suffered a sudden violent death these skeletons are thousands of years old Why did the bodies not decay or get eaten by wild animals? Furthermore, there is no apparent cause of a physical violent death. These skeletons are among the most radioactive ever found, on par with those at Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Their other sites have been found in northern India that show the signs of explosions of high magnitude. One such city was found between the Ganges and the mountains of raj mahal which seems to have been subjected to intense heat huge masses of walls and foundations of the ancient city were fused together and since there is no indication of a volcanic eruption at mohenjo daro or at the other such sites the intense heat to melt clay vessels can only be justified by an atomic blast or some other worldly weapon there has been found increased level of radiation on such sites why there is increased level of radiation on such sites ancient aliens proponents proposed that mohenjo daro could be the city that was described in the hindu scripture bhagavad gita destroyed by an ancient atomic blast the hypothesis of mohenjo daro's destruction by a nuclear blast was proposed by a british of indian origin david davenport in his 1979 book atomic destruction in 2000 bc Davenport spent 12 years at Mohenjo Daro in search of real cause of the destruction of that city. He was well versed in ancient Sanskrit and Hindu scriptures. He was sure that a thermonuclear blast occurred in that city. Davenport identified the Dandal kingdom destroyed in ancient Indian epic Ramayana was actually the city today known as Mohenjo Daro. Davenport believed that The destruction of Mohenjo Daro was occurred due to a state of war between the ancient Aryans and Mongols. Davenport also believed that extraterrestrial beings were present on planet Earth in that epoch 
and they were mining minerals from the regions that were controlled by Aryans. The aliens agreed to destroy Mohenjo-Daro on behalf of the Aryans. There is no detail why Davenport believed that there were aliens on planet Earth in that epoch. According to Davenport, the aliens needed the friendship of the Aryan rulers to continue their mineral mining. Who were these aliens? Were they really extraterrestrials? How Davenport claimed them aliens? Perhaps Davenport referred those non-human beings described in ancient scriptures as aliens in a sense of supernatural non-human beings. There is no doubt that the history of ancient subcontinent is filled with stories of supernatural beings that have been living with humans from the beginning. And those supernatural beings are none other than the Jinn nation. In fact, Davenport relates the destruction of Lanka also with this destruction by an ancient nuclear weapon. He found an epicenter of about 50 to 60 yards wide where everything was melted and crystallized and that needs an extremely high degree of heat. This process is called vitrification in which a common stone is molten into magma and then it hardens again but it feels like glass. He found vitrified stones at Mohenjo-Daro and it was possible only if that area faced extreme heat from some kind of a blast. But as the present day ruins clearly show, the buildings did not turn to glass. There is some vitrification, but it is not of the buildings. But fire hardened stone objects from a dumping ground where vitrified pottery and stones were buried. This nuclear explosion must have been very special as it left the entire city standing as it is and its mud brick buildings remained unburned, uncracked and still they are in good condition. Davenport came back from Pakistan with some sample remains from that city. The CNR lab test provided a serious analysis that shocked them. The objects brought by him appeared to be fused classified by a heat as high as 1500 Celsius followed by a sudden cooling. He writes about it, 60 yards from the center the bricks are melted on one side indicating a blast. The horrible, mysterious event of 4,000 years ago that leveled Mohenjo-Daro was recorded in an old Hindu manuscript called the Mahabharata, which has been guarded by the holy men for centuries. He compares it with the text of Ramayana that states, white hot smoke that was a thousand times brighter than the sun rose in infinite brilliance and reduced the city to ashes. The account further reads, Water boiled, horses and war chariots were burned by the thousands. The corpses of the fallen were mutilated by the terrible heat so that they no longer looked like human beings. Now consider these verses from the ancient Mahabharata. It was a single projectile charged with all the power of the universe, an incandescent column of smoke and flame as bright as the thousand suns rose in all its splendor. It was an unknown weapon, an iron thunderbolt, a gigantic messenger of death, which reduced to ashes the entire race of the Rishnis and the Andakas. The corpses were so burned as to be unrecognizable. The hair and nails fell out, pottery broke without apparent cause, and the birds turned white. After a few hours, all foodstuff infected. To escape from this fire, soldiers threw themselves in streams to wash themselves and their equipment. The description is indeed similar to the effects of a nuclear blast, an incredibly bright explosion a column of rising smoke and fire, fallout, intense shock waves and heat waves, and the deadly effects of radiation poisoning. But is everything real as it seems? According to new research, there is no such passage in any English translation of Mahabharata, but the same passage is found in thousands of online articles and many books. In fact, this passage has been composed of a few unrelated passages scattered in 200,000 verse book. Many English translations of Mahabharata are from French translations. 
what if the events described in Mahabharata were occurred in a time much older than the destruction of Mohenjo-daro? These descriptions describe two different situations. There is no clue or evidence of war scenario in the case of Mohenjo-daro, whereas we find an evident war situation in Mahabharata. An obvious battle is happening between two warring enemies. For Davenport, the site of Mohenjo-daro exactly corresponds to Nagasaki, destroyed by an atomic bomb in modern history. Dr. George F. Dales, in his scholarly paper, Mythical Massacre at Mohenjo-daro, questions, where are the burned fortresses, the arrowheads, weapons, pieces of armor, the smashed chariots and bodies of the invaders and defenders? Despite having extensive excavations, none of such things was ever found. What in fact happened to Mohenjo-daro? Why these people faced a sudden violent death? Why their bodies not decayed even after thousands of years? Why their bodies were not eaten by wild animals? What was the weapon of destruction? Was there a nuclear blast or really an otherworldly, destructive, unforgiving weapon? Or there is another reason? Are these people the sign of God's wrath that fell upon them in form of sudden violent death? Davenport's provoking theory has created interest in scientific community as a space engineer in Rome, Antonio Castellini, commented. It is possible that what happened at Mohenjo-daro was not a natural phenomenon, and it was definitely not a natural catastrophe, but was the wrath of God Almighty. Mohenjo-daro is not a single example of such destruction. The horrible destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah is another true example where people denied the prophets of God and faced the wrath of God and heavenly forces turned those well-off wealthy cities into ruins in a few hours. In the book of Genesis, the Bible states, Then the Lord rained down burning sulfur on Sodom and Gomorrah from the Lord out of the heavens. Thus he overthrew those cities and the entire plain, destroying all of those living in these cities and also the vegetation in the land. Early the next morning, Abraham got up and returned to the place where he had stood before the Lord. He looked down toward Sodom and Gomorrah, toward all the land of the plain, and he saw dense smoke rising from the land, like smoke from a furnace. Genesis nineteen twenty-four to 28 The Lord rained down burning sulfur. What could that be in reality to cause destruction on such scale? Was it some kind of weapon, missile, or bomb? If the angels of God can shower burning sulfur on Sodom and Gomorrah, why can't they create such intense heat that burnt Mohenjo-daro and its inhabitants? Was Mohenjo-daro also destroyed by heavenly forces as they previously destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah? Elvis Newman writes in his book, the greatest story never told. How did man in 2000 BC have the knowledge of not only producing such a high degree of heat, but also harnessing the power of such high temperatures? If Mohenjo-daro was destroyed by a nuclear catastrophe, who designed and manufactured it? If not, what was used to produce such heat that vitrified rocks and bricks? What could be attributed to the high degree of radioactive traces in the skeletons? How did all of them die in one instant? The ancient text tells us that 30,000 to 40,000 inhabitants of the city were given seven days to get out, a clear warning that everything was about to be destroyed. Obviously, some people didn't heed the warning because 44 human skeletons were found there in 1927. Now the question arises, who gave warning to the inhabitants of Mohenjo-daro? Who told them about seven days' time to get out from the city? It is the same 
that is often described in Abrahamic religions about the destruction of ancient disobedient nations where first prophets warned their nations about the consequences of denial of the commandments of God and then wrath of God Almighty fell upon them. But why they found only a few bodies in Mohenjo-daro, where the remaining population disappeared? Where did they go? Did they just vacate the city according to warning of seven days or they burnt into ashes? Perhaps the people of Mohenjo-daro also met the same fate like Sodom and Gomorrah by denying the prophets of God Almighty. In the religious traditions of Abrahamic religions, Judaism, Christianity and Islam, we find many such events when the disobedient and rebel nations like people of the stone land, Madaina Swaliha, the nation of Prophet Swaliha, were punished and destroyed by God Almighty by earthquake and lightning blasts. Those lightning blasts could be much more powerful than atomic bomb. According to many authentic Islamic narrations, the angels who bring wrath of God are so powerful that they can uproot a whole city within no time. They can cause and produce extreme heat literally more than any atomic bomb of this world. They can shower rain of fire containing intense heat. They use otherworldly means and weapons that humans can never bear. But they don't do it by their own will. They do it to fulfill God's commandment. There is another fact that God's wrath suddenly appears and suddenly finishes after completion as we find in the CNR lab results of the vitrified stones of Mohenjo-daro that David Davenport provided. The lab results of these stones also suggest occurring of intense heat about 1500 Celsius followed by sudden cooling. The ancient city of Mohenjo-daro is definitely not a place destroyed in Mahabharata as suggested by ancient aliens proponents. It looks like it was a developed wealthy city like Sodom and Gomorrah where God sent his prophets to guide them right path. But they not only denied them and ridiculed, insulted and perhaps killed them. Then God sent terrible violent punishment for them and preserved their bodies for the future races of human as a lesson.